Now that you've successfully set up your classrooms and delivered the code with your students, let's have a look at those classroom reports and see how they are progressing. Let's first make sure that we are in classrooms and we navigate to reports tab. Within the reports tab, you can utilize the date picker to determine whether you want to see the reports for the entire class based over the last week, month, or you can choose a custom date. You can also filter down to testing or training. The score filter allows you to see the latest, best, or average. You can choose your category, and then you'll be able to choose your product based on your category and it will give you the report for your class. Again, when you are in classroom, this report is for your class. I have two students in this class, so it's giving me my progress for my student within the Learn Key. They're at a 2%, they've completed 2% of that course. It's giving me their latest score, because I have it filtered to latest, for the Digital Literacy Practice Exam 1, and then it's not giving me Practice Exam 2 score because they have not completed that. These reports are available for export as well as print. And then I'll show you, it does give me the skill, the skill tree for my class for the GS6 Digital Literacy Level 1. For the class, they have a 13% they have a 13 proficiency with 53 questions attempted. And if I look more into it, I'm able to see that the class missed the matching USB. There's only a 33% proficiency there, and they attempted one of the three questions, and they missed this question. That's why it has the X there. This questions with 0% proficiency, usually you have to look and see if the question has been attempted, but it will give you information on what the question is. I do recommend consistently reviewing your class skill tree so you can monitor how they're improving over the course of preparing for the exam. Congratulations, you now have the necessary information to view your classroom reports. Again, I do recommend that you consistently review these reports and utilize the information for class remediation.